In this lesson, we're going to learn some of the most common blocks with the long stick. So, from over under grip. So again, we're using this grip for all of these. So from here, and you're going to find that the blocks are a shorter movement than the attacks. They have to be shorter, they have to be quicker, because you need to be able to get there in time for them to be useful. So obviously, the blocks are a shorter move. You're not going to the attacker, the attacker is coming to you. So all you need to protect is this. So from here, the first block is simply over to the side like this. So I'm starting in this position here. I know this isn't a very realistic starting position. A realistic starting position would be a fighting stance like this. But keep in mind, the full movement of the block would be like this. So pushing down with the left hand, pushing up, turning with the right hand and coming up like this and blocking. So everything above here is the blocking surface. So remember, I'm using a little bit of a short long stick here just so that I can work with it inside. A proper length long stick would be, you know, up to about eye level on me or forehead level. So you can see this one is considerably shorter. So keep that in mind when you're watching these. Your hands should be about shoulder width apart. So on a full length long stick, I'm going to have even more blocking surface here than what I have with this one. But the full motion of the block is like this. So here, this is the blocking surface and I'm shutting down everything that is coming at my head and neck. So everything here gets stopped on this side with this block. So looking at it from the side, from here, right, right from here, over to the side, and this shuts down everything coming here. One of the luxuries of a long stick is you have a huge blocking surface. So you don't want your knuckles to get smashed here. You don't want to be trying to reach up high like this. Keep your hand down low like this and let the long stick do the work for you. So in a, a real scenario, a realistic scenario, if you're in a fighting stance, this block is just going to look like this. I mean, it's really going to be as simple as that. Just tipping the weapon up this way and protecting. That's all there is to it. The weapon is already there to protect on that side. That's literally all that you need to do for this block. But here, practicing full motion up to the side. Now, we also have block the other way. So any attack that's coming from here, we're not going to try and pull the weapon up and make two motions to try and come up and over. We're going right from here over and stopping it. So again, making sure this hand is not up too high where your knuckles are going to get smashed. Keep it down low and block out to the side like this. This shuts down everything head and neck level coming from the other side. So if you were in a fighting stance, this block would be this. So you've got to bring this one quite a bit further depending on how you're holding the weapon to protect here. In some cases, it may actually make more sense to simply bring the weapon up like this. If your fighting stance is this way, like this, and you're fighting out of here, it might make more sense simply to pull the weapon in and just move it out to the side. This would be a shorter and quicker move. But if you're doing the full block, depending on how you're fighting, this is full movement on this block. But keep that in mind. Sometimes it might make sense. Here's a block one side, Here's a block the other side. One, two. That may be all the time that you have in the real world. If it's a real fight, just to do one and two like this, the block, instead of coming all the way over like this. One, two, this way. 
Now we also have blocking down low to protect the legs. So from here, sweeping the weapon down like this, and now this is the blocking surface. So down low, and as long as you stop outside of your leg, you're fine. Don't stop short, because if your opponent is attacking your leg or your knee, you need to make sure that you're covered. So we have up high, up high on the other side, we have down low like this, and we also have down low on the other side. So from here, one, two, three, like this, and four, like this. So sweeping down low. Again, protecting anything that is coming at the legs, and even a low thrust to the groin would be taken away by either one of these. So again, if you're in a real fighting stance and somebody is coming at your groin, you know, there is the block, either this way or this way. Probably want to take the shorter of the two. Now, we also have high block. So starting from here, the full motion of the block, touch your chest and bring the weapon up like this. So it's not directly above your head, and if it's too low, the opponent is gonna come right over top of it. So think out about 45 degrees from your body, and here the blocking surface is in between your hands. So very important that your hands are shoulder width apart and not getting too close, because your hands are gonna get smashed, obviously. So from here, full motion of the block, touch your chest, and then straight up and straight up and out. And again, if you're really fighting with the weapon, this is going to be just a quick like this. That may be all the time that you have is to go from here when you're fighting and up. Looking at it from the side, touch your chest and up like this. That is high block. And again, if you're in a fighting stance, that may be all the time that you have to protect up like this. <clears throat> now we have high block, we also have low block. So low block, again, touch your chest, and then straight down like this, and out 45 degrees. So once again, not too far out, not too close to your body, out here like this. So again, maybe out 45 degrees. So from here, down to here like this. And again, if you're on a walking stance, this is what it would look like. So from here and down. Okay, so that is low block, knocking an attack down. So if somebody was trying to thrust, you can push it down out of harm's way. Finally, we have middle block or side block here where we come back and we push the attack off to the side. So this protecting your midsection here. So your torso is protected by this. The blocking surface is the area in between your hands and this will defend against either a front, a front or a side thrust, any straightforward attack that your opponent is doing, right away you deflect it off to the side. And this is the shortest, quickest movement to come this way and go off to the side. So right away the attack is coming, you push it off to the side like this. So looking from side view, from here, pushing off to the side. So that is your middle block. So those are the most commonly used blocks with the long stick. And if you know just those blocks, you can protect your whole body. 
from a talk. So, till the next lesson.